What's up everyone, MK Tom Brady here. In this video, I wanna go over the newest update in the patch to MK1. A lot of people thought this was gonna be the big one. Uh, big update, it's gonna take the game from a meta that was getting kind of stale and change it to the place where it's gonna start going in the final direction as they complete the game. And look, this is a pretty big update. It was a 32 gig uh, download and there are several changes that I wanna go over. This video is gonna be focused on character changes, so I'm not gonna go over general fixes and adjustments. I'm gonna do a separate video just to address the state of online. I'm not gonna talk invasions or practice mode bug fixes, but we're gonna stay with the characters here. Uh, this was mentioned in the combat cast, but uh, much needed in my opinion, added a UI to display the levels of hourglass charge on Gyrus. And now we're gonna move right to the real meat and potatoes, everyone, Raiden. So the move here they call electric uh, magnetic storm. This is what we all refer to as the storm cell. So right now, storm cell will no longer pull in an airborne opponent unless they are considered to be in a comboed state. Now it will still pull in a grounded opponent, but not airborne unless the game considers you to be in a state of being in a combo. Storm Cell also has less pushback on block for every hit except for its final one, and will do 27 less damage. But the next line is the big one. Both Storm Cell and Enhanced Storm Cell now have 10 more frames of recovery on block. And I really want to go over what that actually means for Raiden here and how his meta is. Before I get to the Enhanced Storm Cell, let's talk about regular Storm Cell. We all know the meta. He does anything in a storm cell, calls out Kano, and is so plus that he's gonna jail you into his next attack, right? Then he would do like his uh, like a seven frame jab or whatever, and he's so plus, you're completely jailed, and you can't do anything at all, or you're gonna get hit and recomboed. And of course, because you can't move, you're blocking, and then he's gonna maybe throw you, or maybe do his overhead or his low. So he's not only strike throw mixing you up, but he's then also overhead and low mixing you up. Or he could just rinse and repeat something back in a storm cell, back in a Kano, take his turn again. And this is what people were like, this is just storm cell, storm cell, storm cell, storm cell meta. And uh, they did change it slightly. And, and here's what I mean by that. So I'm going to, let's see here, put it on, yeah, playback, all right. So as of right now, this is the what it is. Let's take Raid, the Raiden Kano team. This is minus one. At minus one, I cannot armor out of it. However, if he makes it plus one, show you that, here's plus one, I can armor out of it. So what is it on zero? No idea, I couldn't get zero. I only tried this for a little bit of time and I was able to get minus one and plus one, but not really the in-between. So somewhere between zero and minus one, you cannot armor out, we'll just say minus one for the sake of this video, I'm not sure about zero, so we'll say z minus one. So it's still a very, very safe storm cell, doesn't matter if I'm in crouch or standing, still gonna be at minus one. So while he's, we've already established there's no way he's going to be plus because at even plus one, you can armor out of this. Minus one is still a pretty safe storm cell. And, you know, this is the thing about this uh, meta here. So you see where I am here. If I want to take my turn at minus one, he can always down one me. Not much I can do. I can have his down one whiff and try to punish him. He can have my down one whiff and try to punish me. Or if he's trying to get my down one whiff, I can dash up and do something. But it's still going back to down one, steal your turn back, poke, back, dash, throw, etc. So it looks like Raiden is still kind of going to be in the storm cell meta. Instead of the plus storm cell meta, it's going to be the safe storm cell meta. And I don't really see that he has anything else but storm cell. So he's still bound to the move. It just looks like now Raiden is more in line with the... My turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. My, uh, not stole my turn back. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. You know, poke, strike, stagger, throw, backdash, micro duck. My turn, your turn. So it looks like they're trying to have Raiden fall in line with that as opposed to changing the game so not everybody falls in line with that and say, hey, everyone does their own thing. There's room for creativity. Nope. 
It's going to be poke, stagger, strike, backdash, throw, poke, 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 poke. And I'm not trying to be negative here. I, mean, I know people will take anything I say as negative. I'm just saying this is where they're trying to have Raiden fall in line, and I think they did. So now he's just kind of falling in line with a lot of the old meta. The problem was it was the old meta in general that people were, were already saying was getting stale. They just kind of moved Raiden into that slot. They just wanted to nerf him enough to move him into that slot as now Raiden does this too. Uh, now when it comes to his EX Storm Cell, this is something that... This was a lot of characters really struggled to punish this because it was only minus 12 and pushed back. So at that point, it was like, well, some characters can't even punish this. So what Raiden would do is he would use regular Storm Cell into his cameo. And then he would, oh, my cameo is on cooldown. He would then, you know, do something like this. Okay, I'll just do this. Keep myself safe while the cameo is on cooldown. Now he will always have to use cameo to take to keep any version of Storm Cell safe. And uh, I'm not sure if another cameo, I'm sure people will try to find one, if another cameo will make Raiden plus frames. I'm sure people will try to find ways to still play the old style of where he's still plus. Maybe another cameo will do this. But again, the reason why they're going to do that is there's just not enough to get him off of the Storm Cell meta. So he's either gonna, people are either gonna find some way to still be plus and it will go back to my turn, my turn with Raiden, you know, jailed into something or plus into something and then strike throw, etc. Or minus one, we're going with my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. So, I mean, it's, it's not really a, I mean, it does change things, but he's still gonna be bound to the Storm Cell meta. Um, a few more changes to Raiden here, and, and this one right here is a is a pretty significant one as well. His Electric Fly. So Electric Fly, whether he, whether he misses an airborne one or a grounded one, now has eight more frames of recovery. So we all remember Electric Fly. Like, what would Raiden players do? They would do one like, you know, low to the ground, and then they would recover like super fast. Now you see how long it takes Raiden to block. Before, as soon as he hit the ground, he was basically blocking and he would recover in a blocking state. Now he's got eight more frames. You know, the number eight doesn't sound like a big number, but when it comes to frames, as far as like now you have that much more recovery, that's a pretty major change. So I think that was another one a lot of people were looking for, like changing that aspect of Raiden. Obviously, he's still going to do it. You just, I guess, can't be as obvious with it. Uh, it can be scouted. And has more of a chance to be baited and punished. Now they did give him a few things, or at least try to give Raiden a few things, in way of this move called Razzle Dazzle. So very quickly, uh, the both enhanced and regular Razzle Dazzle have one more frame of startup, five more blocks on frames, increased pushback on block. But what they did was, while Electric Charge is active, Razzle Dazzle and Enhanced Razzle Dazzle will gain extra pushback. If you're holding two while you're doing it. And the next one is the Enhanced Razzle Dazzle has a different uh, hit animation, follow-up hit animation. So what is Razzle Dazzle? Well, it's this move here that nobody really does. And uh, when he's charged up, uh, they, they, the big thing was, hey, when he's charged up, he gets even more pushback now. So more pushback when you hold two, whether it's regular or enhanced. And there is a change to the... Uh, the, I guess they said the... I, I don't know what this move looked like because I never saw anybody get hit with this before. I don't know what the what that looked like the first time around, but apparently it's different. So, okay, they're trying to make Raiden a little different and, and, and maybe about something else than just Storm Cell, Storm Cell. Somebody might ask, what is charged up? Well, when Raiden... You can just set to start the round charged up in practice mode, obviously. But whenever you block a certain amount of attacks from the opponent... That's when you get into a charged up mode. You know your max charged up when his eyes glow, and that's when the buffs to Razzle Dazzle really happen. The problem is, and this is also really confusing, if they really wanted to make him about something different, this is not even that that uh, significant at all. Um, and um, it's right here. It says that the maximum charge takes twice as long to reach. And it's like really confusing, like why 
why do this? I mean, if you're really trying to change Raiden to be like, okay, Storm Cell meta is still kind of there, but we're going to make it more about something else. And I'm not even sure this would even be significant with the old charge time. And then they just made it twice as long. So very, very weird change to me. Uh, before I go over some of the new moves, I want to cover Peacemaker very quickly as well, because Peacemaker got all these patch notes. But I want to focus on some of the big ones here. Uh, his stand 2 got a damage nerf of 20 less damage. His force multiplier EX, which is the EX gunshots, 10 less damage on the second and third hits. His torpedo does 10 less damage. His enhanced torpedo does 20 less damage and has increased combo damage scaling. So it does even less damage than that in a combo. His enhanced sonic boom, which is, uh, you know, that, you know, that move where he kind of like does that big uh, orb around him and it blows you up and launches you. That does 20 less damage. And his force field, and this was the big one. It now can only absorb two hits and last two seconds shorter. This is really significant. So before the old force field lasted for quite a long time, and could absorb infinite hits uh, of projectiles while it was active. Now it only has a maximum of two. Uh, it also lasts two, la two shorter seconds. Now, this move did not used to have a cooldown because its active frames were equal to its cooldown frames. Now they touched the active frames, but not the cooldown. So he's also got some cooldown to it. I think only about two seconds, still not as long as some other characters or other character has a cooldown on a move, but that's a topic for a different day, boys. But this is pretty significant. So they didn't change the speed of his torpedo, but they did change what I think was the big one people were talking about. Like he's across the screen, he's got four shield activated, he's zoning with his gun and eagerly checking you with full screen force field, which he can make safe with cameo. And, uh, but we can't even shoot back at him because he's always got force field on. This is no longer the case. So this is a pretty significant nerf to Peacemaker. Uh, so again, obviously, I just feel like they're just trying to, you know, make every character more in line with the poke, backdash, throw, meta, kind of make every character like more of the same. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to cover some of these and then I'm going to uh, load up the... Um, the characters and show you can show you the new moves so a few things here with rain uh his water beam charge can now be canceled into some other special moves his water beam charge can now be done five frames faster and only be used once per combo his rain god move now has four more frames of startup um they also fixed being unable to duck block after dashing water beam charge cancel or okay so this was a big thing when he would cancel out of his hydro kick or water beam he was for a short period of time unable to crouch block they fixed that bug that was a huge bug fix and uh let's go over some of the new moves here because rain's got them reptile has them and scorpion has them and i want to go over uh these moves here so let's go back to character select and i will show you guys the uh new moves here All right, so let's bring up uh, Rain, Rain and Scorpion. Scorpion. Kano. Kano. All right, so it's good to see some new moves being added to the game. Um, that's really, really good to me. Uh, so they uh, added new basic attack terrain, which is his um, uh, forward one. And you can do forward one... Uh, into uh, what is it a Ford one two so this right here let's go ahead and put it on block for you guys so added this move here and it's part of a string here forward one two it's minus six this is minus seven and he's got um, a another move here with uh, back three and then he can do back three four which let's see what it does on hit here And knocks up so I mean it's good to see new I mean I like seeing new moves here I'm all for like expanding the characters I think that's um, that's a good one and there's some strings they also you know like uh, 
this right here, this string, uh, his uh, 211 has, uh, it says the first, uh, what is it? First hit has two more frames of hit advantage. Uh, his, this move right here, we all know this. Uh, this move here has seven more frames of advantage on hit, recovers two frames uh, slower on hit. So little changes like that, but uh, added two new moves to rate to uh, rain here. And I'm all for like characters getting new stuff. Like I said, I'm all for like you know, changing the way a character could potentially play. I think that's really, really big. Uh, Scorpion, they uh, added a new combo attack, which uh, his, his, is his forward three, four. Now, everybody was always talking about how off this, he didn't have a mid that he always had to do his spear spin. Well, now they gave him a second hit. I do, there is an armor gap in this, right? There is an armor gap. And guys, in case you're wondering if there is ever an armor gap, you see the um, cancel advantage is 18 frames, but this move is 19 frames. So there's one frame in there where you can armor out of. So that's how you know if the startup of the next move does not equal the cancel advantage of the first move there's a gap there to armor. So there is an armor gap there. So uh, that's a new move here for Scorpion. And when it hits, it um, knocks back. I don't know that you can combo up this at all. So I thought, I think maybe they're thinking like, here's a move that uh, will combo. And this is a double mid, so you can't duck it anymore just to kind of keep you in check. And it is, um, let's see what the frame data on it is. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't go through this practice move much. So it is minus six, so completely safe on block, but there is an armor gap in there. And it also said that they changed the reaction of, oh no, it increased the hit region and landing speed of his jump one, one, two. So he lands significantly faster now, so he's able to go into different type of combos now. So that's really cool. They're giving him more combo routes, Give him a double mid. So maybe get him off of that knee into spear spin into assist. So now into a cameo. Because when he didn't have cameo, the match really slowed down for him. Because obviously he doesn't really have like a good mid follow up. He just has his knee, but too risky to really go the upper after it. And if he uses his spear spin, it's too risky unless he has assist. So he would kind of pick his shots based on when he does or doesn't have cameo available. Now we at least he has a double mid, keeps himself safe, but there's a mind game there as well because you can armor through it. And uh, then there's Reptile. So Reptile got some love here as well. <clears throat> he got some uh, new moves. Um, or I guess new functions, Reptile I guess I would say. Kano. Kano. Ying Fortress. So his... His 1-1-4 one, one, string. Um, let's go to player one. You can now cancel it into, um, into his air falling fang. So while airborne, he has this move. You can now cancel into that. Uh, his 2-3... Uh, his forward 2-3 both have a uh, slightly farther range and have a larger hit region when opponents in a combo. I guess this is just to like stop combos from dropping when they really shouldn't. Um, he's a uh, back, uh, back two while fully charged, starts up three frames faster now and recovers three frames faster. So that's really good. His stand three has 12 more frames of hit advantage. And uh, you can, you know, obviously you can cancel any airborne move into your air falling fangs, but then you can also cancel air falling fangs by holding down. So like stuff like this you can do, right? And any move that puts you airborne, you can cancel by holding down. Uh, and the enhanced invisibility now becomes fully invisible about two seconds faster. So. See the command on that. Okay, down up. Uh, so let's see how fast. Okay, so significantly better. Uh, so I think that's really, really good. Uh, that's that's really good. Because I know a lot of people were like, well, 
You know, it still takes a little too long to go invisible. So that's really, really cool that they did that. Um, let's very quickly now go over. So cameo stuff, you know, not too much. Um, the big one for this was going to be, uh, oh, flamethrower, sector's flamethrower, second hit now considered a projectile instead of a melee attack. Uh, some other bug fixes here for some cameos. Scorpion Hellblade's hit reaction has 13 more frames of hit advantage. But the big thing was Shujinko. So Shujinko recovers from his breaker 15 frames earlier. Uh, fixed an issue. I mean, fixed Shujinko being briefly invisible if he performs a breaker, then immediately performs a cameo attack. Most copycat and mimic additional abilities are now shown in the move list. And Shujinko has learned additional copycat and mimic, mimic abilities from fighters. I uh, just kicked the desk there. That was dumb of me. Uh, so these are all the, we, we saw a brief video of that, but he's able to now uh, copycat uh, and mimic additional abilities. And so this, so we have to see how this kind of plays out uh, for Shujinko, you know, just in general, there are a lot of changes here and what he can do. And, and again, they, and the NRS did show a uh, video of all these. So Shujinko definitely needed a buff, but again, a lot of these, I think Shujinko is going to be a cameo that becomes meta in certain matchups and in other matchups he's not because obviously like you don't keep that ability unless you're fighting that character. So we'll have to see how Shujinko uh, plays out, but it definitely, it was a major change to him. And I do think we will start to see him as meta in certain matchups and that will be extreme. Because right now he's only really considered like a really, really good pick against like Quan Chi or at least previous to this. Now, he's probably considered really good against several characters. So I'm looking to see what matchups he turns into a meta cameo on. And we do need more uh, meta cameos. And um, yeah, let's see, Sub-Zero. Oh, just no changes. Different topic for another video, boys. Uh, overall, this patch did change several things, but what it did not change, I think, is what a lot of us were really looking for. Like, this right here. Like, oh, I'm gonna, up, oh, steal my turn back. Haha, <laughs> like right here. Like, this is, you know, like, okay, your turn. Nope, down one, poke, poke, backdash, throw. Like, I think that's what we're looking to see changed, as well as stuff like this right here. Remember, boys, poke, poke, poke. Poke. It seems like they're just kind of funneling everyone into that. And I was kind of hoping that they would start funneling everyone out of that. So a little disappointed there. Um, I can't say things didn't get changed. I mean, it's again, it just seems like a lot of nerfs. Uh, what's really kind of weird is like, okay, so they nerfed Raiden. They nerfed Peacemaker. I love the love they gave to Reptile. But I still think the characters are going to fall into that. Uh, Reptiles is the character that I just, with his moves, he's just not normally going to play that generic meta, which is why I'm really glad they gave him some extra love there. However, it just seems like they're funneling everyone to that generic meta. And now they've nerfed Peacemaker, they nerfed Raiden to make sure that those two kind of fit in that meta. And, you know, if Ermac ends up being a character that's outside the box and original, They'll just nerf him to play the same meta as everyone else. The poke, 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 strike, throw, backdash, micro duck. And, uh, you know, they'll just, you know, maybe eventually come for Kenshi, maybe give him nerf Sento at some point and then just say, okay, call it a day. You know, everyone's nerfed and uh, everyone's kind of playing the same MK11 meta. And, I mean, cameos are still, I mean, I think Chameleon is, you know, probably the best cameo because the best ability is the one she has, the veil ability. Um, you know, obviously the, the push block thing that we all thought was a push block is just a, a Movado thing. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I was kind of hoping for a bigger shakeup here. But again, that's different video. And um, yeah, let me know what you think of the patch. Let me know what you think of, um, you know, how the game is. And uh, I'm sure I'll be back with a ton more videos on this and uh, stay tuned for more content.